We've talked a lot about cyber liability insurance and how to protect yourself as a company from data losses and cyber losses by purchasing a cyber insurance policy. And that certainly is a way to go. It, it covers a lot of different expenses, but there's also other ways to skin a cat. There may be additional coverages that you can get by using a data recovery company. Here's an example. This company is called Rubric. We're not associated with them. We're not affiliated with them. Uh, we've never done business with them. But this is like a lot of other tech companies where what they represent and what they offer is if you contract with them for your data warehousing, so your servers, your data, your pr uh, programs are all hosted in their data center in the cloud. And they provide security, protection, cloud coverage. And if, God forbid, something happens, they have what's called a warranty. It's not insurance. It's a warranty. Up to $5 million ransomware recovery warranty. And it talks about what the terms and conditions are. There's probably limitations in certain areas. But it's another way to have protection. And presumably, if they're putting $5 million of their money on the line for each client, they're going to do a lot of things that will try to prevent that event from happening in the first place. And they may have best practices internally, and they might give you some procedures to use at your facility for practices you can undertake to help protect uh, these ransomware events from happening in the first place. So there's many layers of protection you can have. Obviously, one layer is procedures, but there's external cost uh, re, you know, compensation that comes from various sources. It could be insurance, it could be warranties, it could be uh, different types of um, organizations that you're already a member of that have uh, reimbursement for losses. So take a look at all those. And again, the cost of doing this data warehousing might be more than it's worth to get the five million. I mean, they cover a lot of big companies. They have a list on here of you know Kellogg's and Verizon and uh, Mazda are their clients, but Presumably, if they're hosting data for those companies, they're prob they probably know what they're doing and may be able to help you out.